Saturday vlog, y'all. We are busy today. Uh, it's going to be a wild one. I should be wearing my t-shirt, my Crazy Days t-shirt that says um, it's going to be one of those crazy days because we're busy. Going to be a busy, crazy day. I'm supposed to go take pictures at a veterans parade. We have promised a friend that we would come pick up three chickens. She, uh, she has chickens and... Um, the neighbor dog got into her chickens and killed all of them but three. So they're wanting to completely rebuild their coop. So she wants me to take the last three and they're gonna rebuild their coop and start all over. So she's given me the three last chickens. Um, we're going to pick those up now. And I really, really wanna get out in that yard and do some gardening and see what's going on. There's some stuff that needs harvesting, the uh, early, early spring stuff that needs harvesting. And uh, I've still got some plants that need putting in the ground that I started in, in uh, little trays. Uh, lots going on. So we're gonna try to take you along with us. Stay tuned and watch what we got going on today. <laughs> Just got back with the new hens. They're gonna take a little getting used to. The rooster's already trying them out. Got one of each. Got an Americana, a Bard Rock, and a Buff. The rooster, he's just got to mess with them right off the bat. Let them know who's boss. Brody. 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 Yeah, the Americana, they said, been broody. That's fine. We'll let her sit on some eggs. But there they are, the big Americana. She's broody. She's all puffed up and not happy. And the buff. And then there's the barred rock we just brought in. And we had a barred rock already. There's my buffs and then they got a new buff to talk to oh they're getting along good already he's got to show his boss gotta get pecking order the blackberries are blooming all over the place we've got loads of blackberries uh, wild blackberry bushes all the way up and down our uh, one side of our property where we've uh, there's a uh, tree line and a fence and uh, they just grow all up in there and then all the way down all the way down that whole line there now these are not these are just wild blackberries they don't get real big but on the other side of the property, we have uh, what we call dewberries, and they're kind of like the wild blackberries, only they're quite a bit bigger. And uh, I really like picking them a whole lot better, of course, but I'll pick those. About halfway from the house to the garden, there's this little shady spot that he's clearing out, and we're wanting to put a little bench there beside that tree. Um, he's kind of cleared out some of this area that before was growed up uh, with the uh, blackberries and things. And he's kind of cleared out a spot here to the, to the fence line. Um, we're going to put a little bench there. This would be a nice little shady spot for a bench. Plus, when we get older and have to walk to the garden, it uh, eventually will be a pretty good, you know, haul if you're old and... So we'll put a bench about halfway right there and be able to uh, sit down if we're just too tired to get to the garden and back. <laughs> There's the little dwarf plantain. It has the same little seed heads as the big broadleaf plantain. Only it has the little, it's smaller and has little fuzzy, um, fuzzy leaves. And they don't get near as big same medicinal properties it's just smaller the seed heads come out a lot earlier because the other plantain doesn't have any seed heads here yet but this has lots of them but it's just a small little 
fuzzy leaf plant. So here's my haul. I got some uh, kale, some mixed greens for salad. It's got a little bit of lettuce and spinach and cilantro, uh, different things in there for salad. There's my plantain. I'm gonna uh, get that all dried up and make a salve for medicinal purposes. I got uh, onions and uh, we, we, what we do is plant our onions and then when they get uh, big enough to do green onions, we pull out like every other one or every few um, and let the other ones grow for big onions. I'm sure that's what most people do. That's what we do. And I got some nice looking, excuse the lawnmower. I got some nice looking radishes out of the garden just now. So tonight I'm going to have some radishes and onions in my salad. So I got a pretty good haul just now. So I'll just peel all my onions, um, cut my onions, and uh, got them in jars for the refrigerator. That's what I do. And I'll do my radishes here in a minute. And uh, I put those in an ice cream bucket. I keep the ice cream bucket, actually I keep two of them, under my sink to put scraps in. And then when they get full, I go put them in the compost bin. So I got these at Walmart for uh, my mom and his mom for Mother's Day. My mom loves yellow roses and his mom loves flowers, period. But my mom loves yellow roses. So I got these little mini roses at Walmart. And I used to always try to get my mom something practical she could use. But um, she's 80 and she don't do a whole lot anymore. And she loves yellow roses. So just a little sunshine to brighten their day. So here is the thing, guys. When, the, when you come in... And give your wife a rose and say happy Mother's Day or happy birthday or I love you or whatever um, she will like it and love it but she will love it better if it didn't come out of her front yard <laughs> Lee picked me this rose but it came out of my front yard and I kind of had rather it stayed there but I appreciated it anyway I just checked the mail and I got my first Mother's Day present uh, I got my card and Red Lobster gift card in the mail uh, from my daughter that lives in St. Louis. And um, so I love uh, seafood. So me and Lee will go out to eat with this. And I got a beautiful card. It's that big one. We have a lot of strawberries getting ripe. You can see what red all is? through there. Red all through there. We're picking them. I'm picking yeah. them. The grandkids are picking them. Asia. Well, Pawpaw's picking them and giving them to the grandkids. Give us a thumbs up, a comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.